this is Kev from Mindful Mods. It's been a while since I made a video. Um, today I received this Harley Benton JM, which is uh, supposed to be something like a Jazzmaster a guitar kit um, through the post. It was 77 euros. I live in Luxembourg, so it's free postage and packing from Germany. So this is the guitar that I got. I have done the seals on it. And it comes in a few different boxes. Let's open up the first one. Yeah, so there's a bunch of electronics in here. There we go, some strings, neck plate, some kind of not sure what they're for. Foam paddy sticky back things. Uh, it's like some kind of tunematic style bridge. Some tuners, I'll change those as uh, part of the bridge, another part of the bridge. In here there's some P90 pickups, so uh, I'll just open one of those up. Um, I will probably change these, but we'll see, maybe, they sound, maybe they'll sound nice. Um, but I strongly suspect there'll be nicer ones on the market. Yeah, there we go. P90s. There we go, there's the rest of the bit. The, their um, intonation bits, the saddles and what have you. And these are just... Oh, these are the various screws. So. Okay. What else have we got? Here's a very jazz mastery looking scratch plate. So some fairly cheap components and a cheap three-way switch, which seems to be work properly. The last Harley Benton SC450 guitar I got, the control, this pickup selector was all wobbly. In fact, it's still got the same one on there, even though Harley Benton sent me a new one. What else? Well, there's only two more things these can be, really. And here's the body, which is finished, but the flat surfaces have been sanded nicely. And if you look in there, in the control cavity, you can see it's quite, there's bits of wood. I want to get rid of all that because I'm going to want to shield this control cavity having single coils in there. I tend to. And then the other bit, as you can probably guess, is going to be the neck. So, this is the neck, there we go, the neck feels very nice, and you know what, these fret ends, they're absolutely smooth, there is not a jagged fret, and the, the edges of the frets here are really smooth, and the, the surface of the fretboard is really nice, much better than my SC450. Oh yeah, I forgot to say. Some rather comprehensive instructions I bought nicely in English and seem fairly well thought out and pretty detailed. As a uh, I'm largely going to ignore these, I think, um, because I pretty much know what I'm doing. Famous last words. So, all right, I'll get on with it. Stop talking. Let's see how it goes. So I've been working on this for about three and a half hours, I think. Three, three and a half hours. And I do have a functioning guitar. <laughs>
final impressions then overall very good for the price very very good it feels nice to play, play largely due to this really really nicely finished neck uh, feels nice to move around the fretboard on the the neck's just I think the neck's just phenomenal I'm really pleased I don't know if I got lucky on this but it's just lovely it's quite big it has uh, big jumbo frets so if you're a beginner you're gonna find these stretches quite difficult I have small hands so it's all already a little bit of a stretch but I'm gonna live with that because I really like the feel of it um, and I think it's got a nice tone you know it resonates nicely which is great so it means it fits together nicely what else I've got a big long list here um, very easy to build as I say it took me three and a half to four hours I do have some experience with uh, modifying um, and building guitars of various different types um, but you could expect to get that done if you've never touched it before in a day maybe a couple of days which isn't too bad to finish doing a guitar I don't think uh, the pickup connectors that come inside here mean there's absolutely no soldering and that's a huge bonus especially if it's your first build and you don't want to be wasting time soldering or if you're not sure about how to solder took me a while to learn I'm still not brilliant at it okay what else there's sticky pads inside the pickups which are supposed to the pickups are supposed to rest on in the cavity in the cavity there uh, were way too thick uh, and that's meant that I've threaded a uh, a hole underneath there and what I'm going to have to do is going to go back in at some point refill and redrill that hole which is a bit annoying uh, and it's got this rather unsightly household screw in there at the moment keeping the, the pickup in the cavity uh, what else I think it ideally uh, requires more finishing it's a bit rough around here I'm probably going to leave it actually because I kind of like it but it's a bit rough around here and if you want a perfect finish on it then you're going to have to expect to do quite a lot of sanding this is going to some you know hours I would imagine of sanding to get this particularly this bit nice the back and the front are very good uh, but the sides are not great in terms of finish um, if you want to stain this guitar you're going to have to sand, it, sand everything right back it is already finished uh, which means it looks quite nice when you put it together but if you if you want to stain it it's not going to take a stain unless you get rid of this finish which means sat a lot of sanding so just be prepared for that if you want to change the color paint it it's not going to take a stain or a paint very well and they're quite transparent about that um, it sounds good um, it resonates well um, the neck pickup it is just really really midi and bassy it, it does have a nice high-end response but I have to get rid of all the mids and the lows uh, in order to get that I'm not sure if that's because I've stuck a bloody great screw through the middle of it or if that's just the the way the pickups um, sound I'll, I'm gonna change them I, I think they require too much EQ for my liking um, so I'm going to change them but they're perfectly reasonable and as you probably hear I've managed to get some good sounds out of it by mucking around on the neat on the EQ um, yeah very good value um, I would expect if you want a reliable guitar um, to um, have to do some extra work on it so I'll get to that in a minute and I would also expect if it's your very first build the instructions are very good compared to other ones I've seen but there are still parts where they just kind of you you're left wondering what you're supposed to be doing in between that steps A and D uh, maybe B steps B and C aren't particularly clear so you might find yourself consulting some YouTube videos or going away and trying to have a think about what to do logically that's what I did um, yeah as I mentioned it needs work um, on my hit list of things I want to keep this guitar because I like it and I want to use it I want to play it live and stuff my on my list of things new tuners the tuners are crappy there's just no getting around that they're just bad they don't tune very well they don't stay in tune very well um, they're they don't re respond to adjustment uh, there some of them are really difficult to turn some of them are too easy to turn um, so yeah tuners nut requires new work I'll probably replace that with a graphite nut or a bone nut um, but to get it reliable you're going to have to spend some time working on the nut which requires knowing how to 
to work on the nut and I would get also this is just for my personal preference new pots switches and wiring but I should mention that the current pot switches and wiring are perfectly serviceable there's nothing dreadfully wrong with them um, I, but I think if you're going to invest in new pickups you may as well it's a simple circuit you may as well invest in new electronics uh, all over I would certainly want to for this guitar so yeah I would recommend getting this um, if you've got you know 80 bucks um, and that's all you've got to spend you're going to get a working guitar out of it um, and if you've got a few tools around the house you can probably get it working pretty well uh, so yeah recommend to buy I'm overall very happy okay. with it um, if you like the video uh, please hit subscribe I appreciate there was a lot of information there at the end but I had quite a lot to say about this um, and yeah there are more videos um, modifying acoustic guitars electric guitars um, tone testing various things uh, I got some new uh, tone test in the in the post I've received some warm and pickups which I'm going to put in my strut uh, behind me I've received some Wilkinson zebra humbuckers which I'm going to put in the spear which you probably can't see just out of shot so I expect some tone tests for those so lots more to follow uh, and yeah catch you next time on mindful mods